Here are some of the stats on the Stinger, which shows you that it has very good performance. If you're talking about R22, it does a little over three and a half pounds of liquid per minute, 12.3 uh, pounds on push-pull, and almost a third of a pound of vapor. So it operates on 115 volt and is compatible with just about every medium and high pressure refrigerant out there. All the recovery machines, if you just use one rule of thumb, which is don't pump anything that's explosive or corrosive. Everything else, these machines will pretty well handle. As an advanced design oilless compressor, matter of fact, it's a Bacharach design. That compressor in the Stinger is a proprietary design manufactured by and for Bacharach recovery machines. Once again, recovers liquid without damage. That's a big feature. A lot of machines are broken up and thrown away because someone accidentally pulled liquid into it. That won't happen with a Stinger. Fast recovery to 15 HG vacuum rating, uh, lightweight compact polymer case, and recovers all gases, including 410A. The 3600 recovery machine is the first one in our commercial recovery lineup. It has all the bells and whistles the Stinger has, high pressure, low vacuum shutoff for unattended recovery. Uh, it has a large efficient condenser. Uh, it has uh, rugged reliable uh, components that uh, in the metal case resist damage, especially around construction sites and in commercial applications, and can pull up to two, two pounds of vapor per minute and four pounds of liquid direct. So it's a very fast, very reliable, heavy duty machine designed for commercial applications. <clears throat> it has a half horsepower compressor, a 550 pound PSI high limit on it, and it's capable of switching from one refrigerant to another after purging without contamination. Once again, no R113, R11, or 123 with uh, these recovery machines. Those are the low pressure liquid based refrigerants at room temperature. The 3700 is essentially a two horsepower, two one horsepower, two cylinder version of the 3600. It has three eighths flare fittings on it, so you can get larger flow rates. Uh, it has the high performance condenser fan, because condenser is an important part of it. By keeping the refrigerant cool and keeping the pressures low, you can get it into the recovery cylinder more quickly. The uh, large over, uh, oversized condenser allows you to be able to do uh, 75 pounds of refrigerant on a push pull, four pounds of vapor, and eight pounds of liquid direct. Once again, built to be rugged, reliable, and portable. One horsepower, has a high amperage draw, it's, it's a 115 volt version, you make sure you have enough power to run it, and it'll give you free, trouble-free service and long life. This is probably the most unique re, uh, machine that Backrack has, and when you compare it to everybody else, it is truly unique. I don't, th I don't think anybody else has a, a recovery recyclable machine that you can actually pick up and walk away with. Originally designed for uh, small automotive shop recoveries, it's also earned its spurs in faraway places, remote areas, oil rigs, and areas where you can't run down the street and buy a jug of refrigerant. The 3600 RS allows you to pull the refrigerant in, check it for moisture with that moisture gauge on the front of it, clean it up with a filter dryer which is in the back, and remove the oil so that it can be cleaned and stored or replaced to the unit without contamination. So anywhere where you're in a remote area where you can't get more refrigerant and you want to clean it up and put it back on shipboard, on oil rigs, or once again in remote areas, this is an ideal machine to have. It has an easy change filter, so if the filter on the back gets contaminated, you just screw a new one in. The oil drain has a coalescing oil separator, which removes the oil from the refrigerant and allows you to clean it up and put it back and only weighs 38 pounds. So it's easily portable by one person. Once again, multiple voltages um, and also has the half horsepower, high performance compressor uh, 550 pounds shut off and has the same recovery rates as the 3600. So it's not only fast, portable, and unique, uh, it recovers and recycles. Recovery methods on all these machines fall into three categories. Straight vapor only recovery, standard liquid vapor, and push-pull liquid recovery. 
Recovery operations in their very beginning when there was hermetically sealed compressors were restricted to vapor only. And that vapor was taken out of the unit, it was a slow process, and put in the recovery uh, cylinder. But that was the only thing that was available at the time, and uh, that process very quickly was taken over by the new version of refrigerant machines uh, that Bacharach sells, which is the liquid vapor style. So the vapor recovery operations uh, pretty much gone by the wayside. Uh, the Bacharach machines will do it, but it's not necessary because we have facilities for liquid vapor. You look at the liquid vapor recovery, it shows you using both sides of the condenser to pull liquid and vapor in. It double speeds your recovery up and you pump it through the recovery machine into the recovery cylinder. There's also a, a feature for the 80% shutoff which allows you to hook an electrical connection to a, a similarly fitted recovery cylinder to keep from overfilling it. Um, recovery cylinders should be only filled 80% full so in hot weather and hot climates when the gas expands, it doesn't uh, form a hydrostatic pressure on the relief valve and vent to the atmosphere. So the 80% shutoff or a scale is necessary to be able to make sure that the recovery uh, cylinder is not overfilled. Push-pull recovery operations are the fastest one yet. They're three times faster than anything else. Essentially, you're pulling vapor off the top of the cylinder compressing it and blowing the refrigerant out of the system into the recovery tank. A sight glass is necessary so you can see when the liquid vapor stops circulating. Once the liquid vapor stops circulating, you've recovered all the liquid from the system and only hot vapor is circulating, you would then switch back to the liquid vapor recovery hose setup and get the last of the vapor into the system. This being three times faster, it also has a little bit more work involved with the hose changes but if you have a large system with a couple hundred pounds of refrigerant, um, you just improved your recovery rate from three and a half pounds to 12 and a half pounds. So you can see there's a lot of advantages to it. And uh, the few minutes it takes to change hoses uh, is more than made up for in the speed of recovery. Recovery tips. Use the shortest hoses possible. Long hoses re increase recovery time. Uh, for the fastest recovery, move all restrictions from the hoses. Hoses with ball valves on the ends are better for flow rate than hoses that are, have self-sealing anti-blowback tights. Eliminate the manifold set from the recovery process. One of the things I always ask is, what is a manifold set designed to do? It's designed to measure pressure. It's not a flow valve, and it often restricts the flow rate of your refrigerant recovery machine, uh, making it a, a slower recovery process than it would be if you took the manifold out. The recovery machine has gauges on it, so you really don't need a manifold set. And since our machines handle liquid, you can pump liquid from the low side of the, the high side of the system and pump it right through the machine into the cylinder without damage. So if you can't do that, remove the Schrader cores from the service ports. Uh, make sure you know what you're uh, recovering so you don't cross-contaminate your re recovery cylinder refrigerants. And if you can, pump the liquid out of the system first. Large amount of system, refrigerants and systems use the push-pull method, three times faster than liquid recovery. Now, if you do use a manifold or gauge set, make sure it doesn't restrict the, the flow. Some of the brands do. And if you use a manifold to recover from both high and low side service ports of the system, this will speed up recovery rate uh, over um, you know, the standard uh, withdrawal. Inline filter dryer is your insurance policy against damaging any recovery machine. Make sure you have a filter dryer on the inlet port of any recovery machine to keep contaminants out. If you have a burnout, there's debris in the system, there's acids, there's contaminants, and there's often moisture. An inline filter dryer, which is available from your, uh, your uh, parts supply store, is a very good feature to have to keep your warranty in place and your machine running a long time. Machine product benefits summary, once again, rugged and dependable. Contractors like oilless compressors. They like the fact that it recovers liquid out without damage. They like the deep vacuum, although keep in mind, recovery machines are not vacuum pumps, and you still need a vacuum pump when you put the system back in service. These only take the refrigerant out. They do not reduce moisture, and they do not create a vacuum that is necessary for complete repairs. Our machines handle all gases, including 410A, except for the low-pressure liquid-based room temperature gases. 
Pricing is good, factory service and support, and each one of them has a full year warranty. Once again, if you didn't hear anything else I said, there's a few things that you need to know when you're talking to somebody about recovery. If somebody makes a performance claim of how many, how many pounds of liquid per minute and how much vapor, make sure you know under what conditions compared to what specifically is the claim made. Okay, is it also physically possible to achieve? There's a lot of people that take poetic license when they're talking about recovery machines. Uh, Bacharach, as you can see in the next sentence, uses an official ARI rating system so that there's a level playing field. We send them to ARI, they certify them for refrigerant recovery speed. If, any, if you ever see a machine that doesn't have the ARI rating next to the performance numbers, then you, uh, you have every right to question those numbers. The ratings usually come in three values, so don't get them mixed up. Vapor recovery rate, liquid recovery rate, and push-pull recovery rates. So vapor is typically uh, less than liquid, about usually one-third of liquid, and push-pull is usually three times faster than liquid. So when somebody's talking about how fast their machine is, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. The three most common causes of early machine failure are recovering refrigerant without an inline filter dryer, running the machine on a long extension cord, or an extension cord of too light a gauge wire, or just downright operator abuse, you know, running over it with the truck, dropping it off the roof. Those are all things that happen to these machines. So make sure you pick the right machine for the right job. If you're doing thousands of pounds of refrigerant, you definitely want a high uh, performance commercial machine. Yeah. When somebody says something about the machine recovering very slowly, always check the contractor's equipment for hose restrictions or manifold restriction problems. Uh, typically, the problem will be in the hoses uh, rather than the machine, but if the poor recovery persists after you check those out, then the machine needs to be serviced. Keeping in mind when we talk about recovery rates are at a specific temperature. Recovery machines do not like extremes of heat or cold. Very hot and very cold weather affect performance numbers. So a machine that is tested at 72 degrees ambient is going to act different at high heat or low temperatures. So be sure you understand where you are and what you're doing and what the surrounding environment is when you talk about your machine. We found that size, weight, dependability, speed, and price in that order are what the HVAC customers are typically looking for. And keeping in mind the recovery machines offered by Vacarac will recover all gases, including 410A, with the exception of R11 and 123. Also, recovery machines from Vacarac are manufactured and under all required safety and operational standards and are certified by performance for the American, by the American Refrigeration Institute. So, you know, a lot of people in the controls industry, they, they voted that Jerry is the most handsome man in the controls industry. Is there any truth to that, in your opinion? I, I have no comment. <laughs> you need to control it or measure it. Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you.